So dear friends, so now I will show you the, about the Qigong. So first of all, I would like to introduce to you about the uh, Qigong, this kind of Qigong we call the Eighth Movement, Shaolin Qigong. This is very good for our health, both body and mind. So uh, you see here the mountains, very fresh. And then for me, it's, it's helped me a lot when I do Qigong every day. It makes me feel more happy and my body feel more like uh, healthy and then my, my mind feel very peaceful. So uh, the Qigong is, when we practice with that, we also generate energy of, of uh, uh, peace and also um, the body very healthy. So why we practice Qigong? So the Qigong is mean, Qi is mean the energy the energy of uh, our body, uh, so from within, that is we call the breathing, so when you use the breathing. And also we can uh, generate this kind of energy from the air outside, so that we are on mountain here. Uh, it's very good air, so we can breathe and use air outside to, uh, to practice with that. So this energy uh, can help you to be more healthy. So when we practice Qigong is we raise energy by your breathing, by your uh, awareness and relaxing. The more you relax, the more you have a healing inside of you. So, and also, Kong uh, is mean the cultivate, the cultivate. So when we practice, the more we practice, and you can cultivate the energy of your body and your mind. So that's what we call the Qigong. So uh, now I will, we will show you um, three parts. So first part, we will do uh, the warming up. Whatever we do Qigong, we need to do warming up. And after warming up, we will uh, do the main exercise. The main exercise of the eight movement. So after the main exercise, uh, we will do the massage and relaxing, okay? So we do warm it up, so you move our body around, relax, very soft. One hand with your shoulders, another hand with your kidneys area. So shoulder area and kidneys area. And you move two feet, like a move around to the left, to the right, with your breathing, okay? Your knees bend down a little bit and feel very soft and flexible. So we hold our two hands together, relax our two hands, our fingers. You can look up the sky, the sky is beautiful up there. And relax your neck, your face. We do reverse. So we uh, warm up the whole, like a uh, different parts of our body, and also we warm up the whole body. So right now you, you can warm it up our head, close your eyes, and then just relax your head. We do reverse. So we relax our two hands, relax fingers, knees, and then toes. So you move, the more you relax carefully, the more you have flexibility inside of the view. Your body very soft and ready to do the Qigong. We do reverse. Another leg. Do reverse. So we move around our body. 
So uh, we do uh, warm it up with our hips, our toes, our shoulders. So move to the left, one hand up here, another hand like a straight back, and, and you can look back this way, look back to the left side, behind, and then your legs have like straight. Move to the right, the same, move to the left. So when we breathe in, move around like this, breathe out. So just enjoy your breathing and relax. This can help you to stretch out your body and you feel warm, very warm up with your whole body. Okay, so right now we can uh, warm up with the whole body. So two hands together up here. Breathe it in, move to the left. Then move to the right, out. You see my two legs also move around. Like one, one leg is square, another leg is, is kind of like straight back like this. And then move around two hands, like a raise energies off and move around the chi, make your whole body warm. Breathe in, out. In, out. Inhale and exhale, okay? That's good. That's good enough or warm enough. Breathing in. Raise up our hands like this. Breathing out slow. Aware of your body. Now I will show you the uh, Qigong we call the Eight Movement Shaolin Qigong. We have a different kind of the age movement, but this one kind of is very good for uh, different ages. Even you are adult, you are uh, young adults, you are teenagers, you can learn how to do this because it's not very difficult, but it's not easy. So uh, make your whole body very, uh, very uh, joyful and very pleasant. So we already learned how to do warming up. So we are ready to do exercise. So I just want to remind you one thing is when we do Qi Kung, it's not only we do the movements, but like you can have opportunities to take care of your body and your mind at the same time. So your body right here, and then you can aware of your breathing. You move around and you aware of your breathing, so in breath and out breath, inhale and exhale. And also you feel the energy moving around. That is, you can cultivate the energy, the vitality, the uh, uh, energy of life. So it, is there any uh, pain or any sickness or disease inside of your body? You can heal that right away. The more you have relaxing, the more you have healing. So uh, healing and relaxing is kind of like together there. Um, so I just want to remind you like that so you can learn how to do. Um, so just relax the whole body. So now we uh, to start with the uh, first movements, we do this first. So we breathe in. Raise up out your hand like this. So just put your hands in front of you and uh, look straight uh, front. And then just breathe in and out four, three times. You feel from your arms, energy, raise energies is in front of you. We have good air to breathe and just breathe and feel free. Right now, you hold hand back and push hands beside of you. Look to the left. So when you push out, it's kind of like a open up, open your shoulders. Look to the left. Breathe for three times. And so look to the right. You stretch out your arms and your shoulder like this, you also feel very uh, relaxed and pleasant too. You feel energy, put two signs. Right now, breathe in, breathe out, put your hands up. And look up the sky, the sky is very blue up there. 
and then run out the rays of energy on your head around. We do this because like we do like this is make your body feel like ready and we can feel the cheese and spread out energies, the warmth around the body. Just is uh, of this breathe in, breathe out for three times, this breathe in, breathe out three times, and then off three times the same and ready. Breathe in, out. To hold your two hands in front of your belly. Feel the rise and the falling of your belly. Just ready to uh, practice, do exercise. At the first uh, movement, the first movement like this, you can hold your hands together like this, push off and push your left foot down and you see my knees, my left knee is where, okay? My right leg is straight like a stick but like a 45 uh, degrees, put 45 degrees uh, form. My two hands, like my two arms put down like this beside my knees, my left knees, okay? And then go to the middle two hands raise off and then like open like a flower open off and put besides my two knees okay so you can uh, do that also uh, we just turn to the right side put down middle and then when you put like this your two knees your two knees is like a square okay but your two hands put very softly beside your two knees so the way when we do this one, we also combine our breathing. So breathing in like this, out, in, out, in, right side, out. No rush, just take, take opportunity to breathe in, out. So when, we, when you breathe, try to breathe by your noses, okay? You can close your mouth. In, out. Okay, one more time to the right side. Breathe in, out. So recover energy, breathe in, up here, out, down here, slow. Come back to your body and your mind. Aware. When you finish one movement, uh, so you can come back to your body and put your hands like this. Don't uh, hold it too tight like this, but just push. You know, there, there is some space between two fingers. The air can go through your fingers and you can feel uh, relaxed. So the second movement, we start by two hands like this, okay? From this one, two, two legs like uh, at the normal, okay? Like this. Bend down a little bit and from the right side, my right, my right leg go this way. And then my left, uh, my right hand go this way and my left hand go this way. Like a, from here, go out from my left arm, go out and, and meet with my right arm. So, okay, you see the teeth between two arms that like, meet some points right here. And then you feel like the heat and you feel the energy transmit between two hands, two arms. Okay, and then you can push out like this and another hand like, go down, go back here. You look to the left. When you move to the left, you look to the left. When you move to the right, you look to the right. And then we come back this way. Then right, look at the right, okay? 
And then when this way, your, your back is, is straight also, your back is straight, upright, but you bend down a little bit and also uh, like two knees wear, like the, at the beginning also two knees wear. So how can we breathe? I will show you the way we breathe too. So breathe in, out, look to the left, in, out, softly. In, out, in, out. One more time. So that is the second movement. So now I will show you the third movement. So the third movement, I to start by two hands uh, open like this. And when you breathe in, you like raise off the right hand off, left hand down. So your two arms, two hands like are holding the ball. Just like imagine that you're holding the ball, okay, in front of your belly, of your tan chin and uh, 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 area, your belly area, okay. And then turn one time, turn the second time, and then one hand off, one hand down. It's like uh, you push one ball off and we push another ball down, okay. And put like this and breathe four, three times. And your, just face, like face to the front, and you look to the, the front and maximum push up and down like this. You can relax your shoulders and open your shoulders like that. Your body is kept like a straight up and down, few years. Breathe four, three times. And then right now, right hands put uh, behind of your head with the brain area, okay? And uh, left hand, I put like this, okay? Put like this on my, my um, my kidneys area. So you can feel kidney as that, you can heal kidneys uh, right away. So move to the left. All the way, look that way, okay? Look that way, but you keep my hands uh, with your kidneys area and your head area. Just move your body and, and, and your hand, but don't move your legs, okay? Your two feet like parallel together. Like that. Move three times. And then come back to the middle. Your hands right now is my left hand off. Move one time, second time, then push off. Look at the front. Breathe four, three times. And then left arm with the head and then right arm with your kidneys. Move to the right side three times. Okay, so right now you come by breathing. So breathe in, out, in, out. In, out, in, out, in, out, to left in, out, in, out, in. Left hands off, in, out, in, out, in, out. Move to the right side, breathe in, out. Inhale, exhale.
Breathe in, move up here, out, down here. That is the third movement. Go back to our body again. So now we turn to the, uh, the fourth movement. To the fourth movement, we, uh, we move to the left and we move to the right to raise energy from down here and up and up to your head and then push down. So I will show you the techniques first and then we combine the with breathing, okay? So we push up, down here, up softly from your head, cross your two ears and go down, cross your body and then go down here. Your two hands parallel with your uh, uh, back legs over here. So your like uh, right legs, okay? Your right leg is like uh, keep straight. That uh, maybe uh, we we already know how to do this before. One movement is the same, okay? And then your uh, um, left knee is also square. Then raise up energy from now here. Okay, so we move to the right, also the same. Like that. Softly. So, how can we breathe? So, breathe in, up here, and out, put back. In, out. In, out. Right side, in, out. Breathe in, out. One more time. Inhale, exhale. That is the, the fourth movement. Push off. Out, down. Come back to your breathing again. Come back to your body and your mind. The fifth movement. Uh, we will do in the middle here. So my hands breathe in and push up, breathe out, open, and holding my two knees. Okay, so you can hold in your two knees. So from the right side, I will uh, make a body like uh, you can raise energy around like this. So these movements can help to heal your back and your knees. Sometimes you sit in front of computers and you feel very uh, tired and then a lot of stress and uh, you know painful with your it's very painful with your back you know so this one like uh, can can heal your back very quickly so the ways you do like okay start again breathe in eyes up out holding two knees breathe in from right side move to the left side and out. So half in breath and half out breath. Do reverse again from right to left. In, out. Your two hands all the way put on your knees. In, out. Breathe in again. Out. You might, uh, you might uh, close your eyes if you want. Or you can open, that's okay. In breath, out breath. One more time. Very good. Breathe in, out. So now we will do the six movements. So the six movement, breathe in, raise up our two hands, turn around, out. Face your two hands, face to the face, and then breathe in, push down, and then touch the earth in front of you, breathe out. And right now, you see, I put like this, 
and then you can train and then uh, have your do some kind of like your toes uh, and your fingers you touch the earth so right now you can train and you can have your toes and fingers relax also okay so breathe in right now we just raise up your toes and you move the body to front but you see like uh, you can use your um, fingers your fingers can can help you to hold your body okay breathe in move up raise up your toes and move back breathe out put your legs back in raise up go to front out go to back the back in out we do three times like that and then right now we do further more deeper hold your two hands with your uh, left and right toes left and right feet okay like this breathe in look back all the way back your legs straight your back straight also breathe out look to front breathe in out okay to enjoy it in out one more time so when you do this one is it's very helpful for you because like uh, always uh we are adult, we are the grow up people. Um, we always have a problem with, with, with our back, right? So the way we do this one, I will show you this one more carefully because like uh, this can heal your back. So with the six exercise, the six movements. So you move up, okay, do one more time. Out, do relax. Breathe in, put, front, and out, touching the earth. Breathe in, rest off out in out this one can have to heal your kidneys area as well breathe in right now look back all the way back breathe out go to front in this one can stretch out can open your back okay in out okay that's the sixth movement. Come back again to breathe. Okay, so right now we turn to the seventh movement. So seven movements more simple. Breathe in, push out, front of you, out, turn around your two hands. Okay. Also, this movement, you also uh, stand in like a square, like uh, before we, do, we did with the, the other movements. You see, so this one is the, the form we use a lot when we do this kind of Qigong. Because this one can train your legs and can help your back uh, very quickly when you have any pain. So, okay, so we do again, breathe in, out, bend down. So, in press, we push out like this. So you can hold the hand, hold the, uh, the four fingers like this, and then the dot thumb, put right here, okay? The same with your, with your uh, uh, left hand. So the way we do like this is we can uh, focus and uh, focus energy with your hands and put out, right? And then you hold back the energies. The, you, we hold and then get the new air, new energy, we put our energy. So we, we can train our hands and fingers too. Breathe in, out, in, out, okay, softly. In, out, in, out, in, out okay that's it inhale deep exhale slow that's seven movements so the eighth movement is the most easy one so we hold in hands together like this i would just show you my back so you can my left hands 
less arms holding my uh, right wrist, okay, like this. So we just massage and move up and move down with your kidneys, yeah, yeah, okay. So we do like this in such a way uh, you can feel very uh, uh, soft, very relaxed with your kidneys, yeah, yeah. So uh, at the same time, when we do this, raise up our our uh, toes. So I, I, I raise my toes, okay? Then push down, raise up my toes. At the same time, when I raise my toe, I raise my hand too. And then, like that. So how can we breathe? Breathe in, raise up, out, in, out. One more time, in, out, it's very good, open up, recover energy, breathe in, out. That is the whole D8 movement and now we have a time to, to uh, do some uh, massage movements and relaxing movement. So uh, massage movements and relaxing is very important. It's very important for us too, uh, especially for our body. So after uh, we finish, just holding two hands together like this and massage my belly. So you can try to massage your belly and feel the uh, heat and the energy rising and falling up your belly. So with sensation of uh, uh, between your arms and then your belly, you feel the, the warmth, the heat. And also this way when we massage your belly, you can feel like very relaxed and have your belly stretch very well. You have your belly to digest the food. So that's why when we do Qigong, we should practice before the meal, before the, before the meal time, before you eat. So don't uh, practice that, uh, practice the uh, exercise after uh, eating, okay? So this way you can, can help your belly. When you feel warm enough, you can put your hand on the top of your head. So it's like a bottle, close the bottle by the lid. So you can use your two hands, close your head and keep the energy inside of you. Go uh, very well and warm. Transmit energy from the head, go down, go through your body, and go down to your toes, to your feet. Right now, we massage two hands. So when you massage your two hands, massage from your uh, your arms inside your arms like this. Okay, massage your arm, and then you hold left hand, hold the right hand, massage like this, warm. When you feel warm enough, massage your face. When you massage your face, is it the way that can help you uh, relax more? You can relax your face, close your eyes like this, and relax. Massage your forehead, your chin. So just remember that when you massage your face, you can renew very quickly all cells of on your face, on your skin, so you can be more younger and more beautiful and more healthy too. Uh, remember that. So you can push from your uh, hands like here, push your fingers, push up with your eyes area, make your eyes more uh, healthy and more bright. This kind of like acute pressure, you know. So when we do massage, we do like this. Can also have to maintain the good health with your face. The nose area, use your two thumb, two thumbs, push in and release. Press it and release. Have your nose more, uh, more flowing good. So sometimes you have any stuck in inside your nose, you can you can't breathe. 
you feel like you have some fever, you have some flu. So this will also heal that disease. So massage your face, okay? Massage your neck. So hold two hands together like this. Put your thumbs inside of your arms and holding uh, the other four fingers. And then just massage your back from up here, go down. So you can be a doctor for yourself. Uh, so you don't need the others can massage for you, but you can massage for you. So more healthy and more healing for your body. And from down up here, go down to the two legs, go to front, okay? Go down again, go to the back. So like do three rounds like that. Also we massage our two, uh, two hands. So from the heel here, another heel, left and right. So like all this area is like a heart area, lungs area, kidneys area and severs area. So this, I learned this one, I do every day, so it has me a lot. So I propose you to do this one also every day. So when you do type in the computers, holding very uh, heavy stuff, and working the, with your, inside your garden, you know, your hands may be tired and, uh, and very weak. So you can do like this, can have your hands much stronger. So do three rounds like that. Enjoy breathing in and breathing out also. Push left arms up, front of your face. Another arms, another hands hold. So you see that two hands support you got together, support each other. So you can hold back like this. You can heal your wrist. Sometimes your wrist have a, a pain and you know weak or something, so you can do like this. So keep holding back your right arms, holding your fingers back a little bit. Uh, hold your uh, left arms, support. Breathe for three times, okay? And then you change, put down. Hold it again. Breathe for three times also. Another hand, we do the same. Breathe for three times. So massage each fingers. So from the root of, of your fingers right here, you move from your nails, Press it and release. Go the same. Do the same with the other fingers. From the roots. Go to the your nail and press it. So we do uh, ten times like that for ten fingers. So massage the fingers also very important, simple but very, very important because between your fingers have a thousand marks, thousand like acute pressure, you can do acute pressure very, every day. So we, the more you do this often, the more your blood going very well, flowing good, and your cheese also flowing very good. So we do massage in order to make your blood and your chi and your energies like balance, kind of like keep balance, rhythm. So sometimes you have it stuck somewhere in your belly, in, in your body, like uh, your belly or your shoulders and your hands or your fingers and your legs. So you just massage more from that part so, so that you can heal your, uh, your body very quick. Uh, massage our uh, heart and lungs area. So you, your five fingers just hold it together like, the, like a mountain, okay? And then you can use this calf uh, uh, power or uh, this kind of like uh, energy to put right here. 
so you just just acute pressure like acute it then uh, just like uh, do uh, like this in and out so form your shoulder area and then hocks area shoulder and hocks area so do like this maybe 10 sum and then you can change to another side so you heal lungs area between your lungs and then your right shoulders you know just do like three rounds also go to left and turn to the right if you do this one can heal your lungs and your heart area very uh, very healthy and very uh, quickly So after you do the massage, breathe in, off, out, relax again one more time. Breathe in. <sighs> Just breathe out very strong like that and can give energy. In. <sighs> Try one more time. <sighs> okay. So now I will show you the last one is the relaxing. So when you do uh, the relaxing and massage movements, always go together. So after your massage, you can take some time to lie down. So outside uh, in the forest, you can lie down. You can enjoy the earth, the um, the energy of earth. But also on the mountain, you can lie down. You enjoy the energy of the rock or the mountain. Okay. So we lie down. Find the space. Lie down. So when you lie down, like you lie down in such a way that you feel comfortable enough. Um, so my two hands like open up like this, and like a face to the sky. So you can feel like a, you can take some time to scan your body, body from your uh, legs, from your angle of your legs, your knees, your butt, your back your shoulders and your hands and your neck your head the whole body so just enjoy in breath and out breath so breathing in and breathing out naturally and feel the rising in the body of your belly and you can close your eyes and just feel the energy of relaxing and healing inside of you to be like a free person just breathe So these times, it takes like a 5 or 15 minutes, from 5 to 15 minutes to relax like this. To enjoy and just focus on your belly. So breathe in and breathe out, breathe in, rising in your belly, breathe out, falling of your belly. To enjoy that kind of uh, sensation. And when you thin and you feel that is there any pain around your body, like a like a which area you feel very painful, like your shoulders you feel very painful, and you need you want to send love and energy, and you can focus that area. You focus on that, and then when you breathe in the breathing, out, you can focus energy on your shoulders area. And then the, the concentration and awareness energy can help you to heal that quickly. The more you relax, the more you have healing. So after five or ten minutes, so you can move, you can bend off your two knees like this. And you move to the left. Your two knees move to the left. And then your two hands like face down the earth. Your hands like look to the right side. So this way you can relax your shoulders and your body more, more flexible. And continue to enjoy the breathing and, and, and aware of your belly also.
and also aware of your body, the feeling between your body, touching with the earth, the heat and the warmth. Maybe two minutes or three minutes, you can move to the right side. Your two knees to the right side, your head to the left side. Continue close your eyes. Enjoy breathing the same way. Three minutes. And then you can turn the whole body to the right side. When you turn the whole body to the right side, you can lie down like a Buddha's lying down position. The right hand put under your leg, uh, your, your head. Your left hand put on the top of your hip, uh, left hip like here. And then slowly open your eyes, slowly open your eyes and move around. and feel very uh, relaxed, nothing to do, nowhere to go, just like the last like this, you know. And then you will feel very happy and peaceful with your body and your mind. So the relaxing moments can help you, can help you to, to notice your mind and body and to let go of the suffering and let go of the, the stress. Uh, and also heal your pain, heal your body very quickly too. It takes this five, from 5 to 15 minutes only. So now, like, when you're ready to uh, stand up, you can use your right arms, put your head up, and then use the whole right hand to push your body up. And then stand up like this. So I still do this one. Uh, it's kind of like when you use your right arm to push your body up, it's kind of like can protect your body an easy way. Instead of you can use your back uh, directly to uh, like stand up, uh, uh, um, sit up. It's kind of like a very harmful for you. It's, it's, it's damaged. It can be uh, very damaged for your back because for the adult, you, uh, your back kind of like is easy to break or easy to feel painful. So don't do like that, but do by your right hand, push your body up. Okay. So right now just like Relax your whole body a little bit. Massage a little bit your two, uh, two legs before you stand up. Okay, like that. So when you're ready, just stand up. So that is a whole uh, massage and relaxing movements. Breathe in. Oh. In, up, out, down. One more time, breathe in, deep, out, relax. So that is uh, the whole session. Uh, I want to share to you, so I wish you to learn this one uh, quickly and you can apply that and practice every day. So when you do movements, you just do at least like uh, um, exercise 15 minutes also good for you or 10 minutes. If you don't have a time, you can do 5 minutes, but uh, uh, you need to warm it up and then do exercise after that. And at the end, just take 5 minutes to another 5 minutes to do the massage and relaxing. That's also very important part uh, to heal uh, your body and transform your mind. So thank you for your learning and listening.